Hi everyone, welcome to VitoTech with Wiesman. I'm Nick, one of the solar specialists here at Wiesman's US headquarters in Warwick, Rhode Island. Today we're going to introduce you to our VitaSol solar products and explain a little bit about each of the components and then also to discuss how they're put together to create a package for you to make solar hot water. What I'm standing next to today is one of our vacuum tube collector models. This is the 200T SP2A and this is a somewhat unique collector in that there are individual glass tubes in it that generate energy to be stored as hot water. One of the important things to understand about the products that we offer in North America is that they're designed to produce heat energy or BTUs. Our solar collectors do not produce electric ener energy. They're not photovoltaics. So this particular unit here, many people ask me, well, how does this actually work? And in, we have individual glass tubes, each of which has an absorber inside of it and also has a heat pipe. And what happens technically in this situation is that the small amount of liquid that's inside the heat pipe vaporizes when the absorber plate inside the glass is exposed to the sun. That energy travels up as a vapor to the top of the unit, which is called a manifold, and then the heat energy is transferred to the heat transfer fluid, which is moving through the heat exchanger manifold. It's taken to a storage tank for later use. So what we're doing is we're gathering energy from the sun, we're transferring the energy to a fluid, and then we're moving that fluid to a storage tank for later use. On the other side of this display, we have a flat plate collector, so why don't we take a look at that? Now on this side of the display, we're looking at a Wiesman Vitasol flat plate collector. This particular model is called a 200F, and we're looking at a vertical orientation collector as opposed to a horizontal orientation collector. Wiesman does offer both, vertical and horizontal. This particular collector here has, is a very traditional one, unlike the vacuum tube collector that we looked at before. These collectors have been around for over 100 years, and their design has essentially not changed very much. In this particular design, we have a large absorber plate that's inside an insulated box and covered with a sheet of glass. So the sun's energy passes in through the glass, hits the absorber plate there, where the fluid is passing through behind it. So this is direct heating of the fluid, as opposed to the heat exchange that's going on with the vacuum tube. This direct heat exchange then has the fluid passing through, tra transferring itself to the storage tank to be stored for later use. These, both of the collector models that we've looked at here can equally be used for an application where you're doing domestic water heating, pool heating, supplemental space heating, and in some cases, process heating with the higher temperature vacuum tube collector. Now we're gonna take a look at the rest of the components or the balance of system.